Okay, hello. Uh, this is my third or fourth time filming this, so I hope it works out this time. All right, hello there. Uh, here we go. The Melbourne Declaration on Educational Goals for Young Australians preaches three points throughout. These are firstly, love through acceptance instead of love through tolerance. Secondly, accountability, both as an individual and from within a community. And finally, the promotion of aesthetic development. I have chosen to examine the section of the Australian curriculum applicable to a grade 10 modern history class. And I'll be stating how the values promoted in the Melbourne Declaration on Educational Goals for Young Australians, which I shall hereafter abbreviate to MDE, are presented in the curriculum document. And, how, and also how they differ from values promoted by Christian schools. Acceptance. Immediately stating the importance of teaching acceptance and the necessity of an inclusive education, the Melbourne Declaration distinguishes itself from many religious values which promote love through tolerance. Greg Trimble writes, I don't care if you're Mormon, Catholic, Protestant or any other type of Christian, one thing is for certain, the Gospel of Jesus Christ is not a buffet that you can compile your perfect plate from. There is no salvation in building your own religion or customising Christ to suit your needs and wants. The popular trend is to determine you'd like to live your life and then to conform Christ to that lifestyle. It is done by appealing to Christ's infinite love and mercy. But you can't just go around rehearsing that God is love and then be done with it. John 3.16 is awesome, but it's just one verse. God, won't have give, God wouldn't have given you all of those other verses if he didn't want you to read them and apply them. The customised Christ movement is in full swing. This popular trend that Trimble is targeting is commonly associated today with the branch of Christianity known as MTD, which sees God as little more than a comfort blanket. This is the new Christian belief that is at the heart of the Melbourne Declaration, evident in the phrase global integration and international mobility have increased rapidly in the past decade. As a consequence, new and, ex new and exciting opportunities for Australians are, in are emerging. This heightens the need to nurture an appreciation of and respect for social, cultural and religious diversity and a sense of global citizenship. So whilst the Christian faith promotes love through tolerance, knowing that Christianity is, will always be the correct way to go, uh, the MDE has a much more appealing uh, worldview behind it. It suggests that there are, no, ma no matter what background you come from, you are always welcome, always loved, and always seen as completely equal. This is also evident in the curriculum document for Modern Histories Unit 4, which is on your screen. The Modern History Curriculum document challenges students to address how they are constructed and how they can promote the rights and freedoms of all humans, no matter their religious or cultural upbringing. This is brought to light through a study on the Arab Spring and is progressing. Europe will be regenerated by Asia. The historical law that civilization moves from Orient to Occident the two forms of humanity will at last be soldered together. It is this hope that the East and the West will be united and will live in acceptance with one another that is promoted within the Akara document. The second key aspect that I came across when reading the MDE is accountability, both of the self and of the community to, pro to promote its constituents. It states, schools are, are the, share this responsibility with students, parents, carers, families, the community, business and other education and training providers. It takes a village to raise a child. 
It also specifically calls for accountability when it comes to acknowledging that it takes extra effort to improve educational outcomes for Indigenous youth and disadvantaged young Australians, especially from low socioeconomic backgrounds. The ACARA website also stresses the need for Indigenous focus, parallel paralleling the requirements stipulated by the MDE. ACARA acknowledges the gap in learning outcomes between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students and their non-Indigenous peers. It recognises the need for the Australian curriculum to provide every opportunity possible to close the gap. On a global scale, the ACARA document, applicable to Modern Histories Unit 4, calls for an understanding of the global significance of events, and the impact that Australia's social changes have on our nation and the rest of the world. Furthermore, ACARA promotes an understanding of self and how the individual should come to terms with how they are constructed, as previously mentioned. For example, teachers have the option to base lessons on the Arab Spring, with students being asked to question how they envision the Arab world based on how it is portrayed in the media and how they have been constructed to view the Orient. By challenging themselves in this way, students are becoming aware of the idea of accountability and learning to see themselves as part of a global citizenship. Accountability is often discussed through a Christian lens, whether it is Matthew 7, 5, which calls for individuals to remove the log from their own eye before pointing out the speck in another's eye, or John 8, 7, in which Jesus calls for someone without sin to cast a stone upon an adulteress. Biblical scripture spreads the idea of acknowledging your faults before attempting to fix the flaws of others. This is the key value of accountability. After the many instances of child abuse within the Catholic Church, members of the public are crying out for the Church to start demonstrating some accountability. Whilst the church does not condone child abuse, there have been cases in the past when instances have been dealt with discreetly and not been made aware to the public. The annoyance following this led Pope Francis to state the following. This is him attempting to demonstrate sorrow and accountability. With shame and repentance, we acknowledge as an ecclesial community that we were not where we should have been that we did not act in a timely manner, realising the magnitude and the gravity of the damage done to so many lives. We showed no care for the little ones, we abandoned them. The third point I'd like to discuss relates to aesthetic development. At the beginning of MDE's preamble, it states, schools play a vital role in promoting the intellectual, physical, social, emotional, moral, spiritual and aesthetic development and well-being of young Australians and in, assuring, and in ensuring the nation's ongoing economic prosperity and social cohesion. Now, aesthetic development is the idea that aesthetic appreciation goes hand in hand with human development, and that it is necessary to cultivate the arts and aspects of learning that involve the creative side of the brain for a complete development. The ACARA website recognises that students will need to engage with the topic and some students may excel with a focus on the arts, etc. It also states that First Nations people of Australia hold an aesthetic value of place and implies that an aesthetic approach could assist in the improving of educational outcomes for Indigenous youth and disadvantaged young Australians. They write... Students' expl exploration of traditional and contemporary artworks by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples provides insight into the way the relationships between people, culture, country, place for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples can be conveyed through their arts, their expression in living communities and the way these build identity. So here we have students paying particular focus to the traditional and contemporary artworks uh, as they provide insight into their own lives and the lives of the indigenous uh, peoples. Furthermore, Bible-based Christianity has a very similar belief. It states that humanity was formed through an expression of God's creation, 
and that we express ourselves as the image of God. Belief, therefore, that we express ourselves through what we create is an idea at the heart of both indigenous and Christian perspectives on the world. However, the Australian Curriculum Document for Modern History Unit 4 does not specify the use of art or has any real focus on aesthetic appreciation and therefore aesthetic development within the classroom. It is therefore down to each individual school as to how they implement aesthetic appreciation into their modern history classrooms. To conclude, the Melbourne Declaration on Educational Goals for Young Australians prov promotes three key aspects, acceptance, accountability and aesthetic development. However, the ACARA document we've discussed, applicable to Unit 4 of Senior School Modern History, only promotes the values of acceptance and accountability and leaves the utilisation of aesthetic appreciation up to the individual schools and teachers. We discussed how the MDE promotes uh, the love of through acceptance and how that differs from uh, religious worldviews such as Christianity and how they promote the love of tolerance. We discussed how Christian both Christianity and the MDE and the Australian curriculum document that I have, de that I have examined um, promote accountability both in a community at, so in that social social sphere and with each individual and we have discussed how aesthetic development is present in both uh, Christianity and the MDE however it is not present present within the ACARA document I have examined these three values acceptance accountability and aesthetic development in the light of Christian values and the values of Indigenous Australians to determine that, that teachers who wish to teach all students should try to incorporate all three into their classroom. Thank you very much.